So what happens is that now people say, okay, this is really cool, but I think we could do a lot more if you actually put keys with little feathers and plug individual strings. So they came up with the virginals and the heart support. So the heart support is, is essentially a loot. And it still maintains things from the loot. Inside the loot, you saw a little card area through the sound hole. Okay, that was called the rosette. And if you look at the center of this virginal, which is the predecessor to the harpsichord, which is the predecessor to the clavichord, which is the predecessor to the piano, which is the predecessor to the electronic set. So you can take it all the way back. And there's your little set. Right over here. Same thing with the loop. And all these strings on the virginal are plugged with little feathers. And that's not only until you get to the piano where the actual string is hammered with the hammer dulcimer. These things are actually plucked with little feathers going up and down. And that's why when you hear the harp support piece, you hear a little clicking them on. You don't hear the actual hammer going against it. So the point is, that turtle goes eastward. Well, that turtle becomes a boot. That goes eastward a uh, silk tray. Becomes a pipa. Somehow, things get a little convoluted to the Himalayas, uh, Himalayas, and a different instrument forms a sympathetic vibration called the sitar. And then also, the more it, when it goes east, it goes to people, it goes to uh, the Japanese Biwa. It goes west with the Knights of Templars, it becomes a Renaissance soup. Okay, but at this time, things are going really heavy, like they are right now in Jerusalem between Christians, Jews, Muslims. At a time around 1200, 1400, there was more there was more control of Spain. So when this instrument came over to more of Spain, the Christians did not want to have this resemble the root. So they took the same tunings off of that instrument, put wrapped wire around it, and called it the Vila de Mano, or Violin of the Hand. That developed into guitar. So who is, uh, is responsible for a lot of plucked instruments in the world? Uh, all of Eurasia, Asia, Europe. And then you can see that even the similar shapes of, a, you know, if we're talking about the rib background, yeah, this, is, this has covered up with, that, with, with abalone, but this would be ribbed with wood first, then with the mosaic place on it. That carries over to a Renaissance loop where it's very open where you have the area. That goes over to probably something like a Baroque mandolin with ribbed area style. And ribbed area would be Kazuki. It's all the same thing. Same area. Again, our concepts were putting, as they were westernized, Fresh were being placed on the fretboard. As they, the people that kept their true music did not put that on their fretboard. They left their notes blank or their in between spaces blank. So that showed out that between those instruments, basically that takes under consideration a lot. Then you, you can go from a from an ion string guitar, and you can go put steel string on it for more projection. And put a steel string on it with some humbucker pickups to get electric guitar. Put a MIDI driver onto the guitar, and then you can activate digital electronics on it. So the oud goes from the oud to the to lute, to the original, to the office chord, to the clavicle chord, to the piano, to the keyboard set. Then the oud also takes a route of oud to the Renaissance lute, to the viola de mano, to guitar, classic guitar, Spanish guitar, steel string, folk guitar. Put magnetic pickup sign, make it electric. Put a MIDI driver, a musical inter instrument digital interface, that interface, and go right back to the guitar synth. So.
So you got guitar synth and you have a keyboard synth. And it starts with the same analog. 